late again this morning. What did you tell the boss? One person even said that uh, their Botox appointment had run late. Coming up, better advice for the habitually late. Now, from Global Calgary, the News Hour with Gord Gillies and Linda Olson. And it's one of the worst ways to start the day, being late for work. The alarm clock doesn't go off, you sleep in, traffic is at a standstill. Just some of the reasons people give. Here's Anthony Robart with more. The alarm clock didn't go off. TTC broke down. Yeah. The bus is late. Excuses, excuses. The traffic. Terrible traffic. Holding me up or an accident. And that also works even if that's not the reason. Because everyone believes it. We all know it's a rat race. And what is clear, many of us are slow across the finish line. Our survey found that 19% or nearly one in five Canadian workers reported being late to work at least once a week. And the tardy are getting tardier. The percentage of the habitually late is up from last year. What's the best excuse? Uh, stuck on the subway. That's lame. Traffic on the highway. Lame. Lack of sleep and traffic top the list, but no question, bosses have heard them all. It seems that the dog ate my homework excuse is alive and well, but it's changed to the dog ate my Blackberry. One person even said that uh, their Botox appointment had run late. We tried to ask these people, but they couldn't talk because they were, well, you know. Real quick, he's I can't, man, I'm late. You're late. Do you know what, I have to get back to work. While some employers are lenient, others take a very strict approach to the concept that time is money. 30% of bosses have terminated an employee solely for being late. Frequently late medical resident Brent Morin has some advice. You definitely have to space them out for sure. So you can use, that's why if you have three or four, you can use them in a short period of time, but then you gotta have a little bit of time in between that before you go back to any of them. But it gives you more time to think of new things. Speaking of time, are you late? Uh, by might be, but I'm not going to use this as my excuse because they won't believe that I was interviewed for TV. I've tried it. It's nice meeting you. Doesn't work. Anthony Robart, Global News. <laughs> I am chronically late for everything. Yeah, everything. You are. I know. <laughs> Thanks to my. One good thing about the deer foot, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is stuck in the deer foot. Sorry. Well, a crafty cat burglar is on.